Hi everybody, this is Cooking with Kutch where I'm going to be baking today. Um, I'm Taryn McCutcheon, I'm the point guard on the women's basketball team at MSU. My major is neuroscience which has nothing to do with cupcakes, but cupcakes are what I love, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I've got my puppers here that are going to be helping me bake today. I've got some roomies and teammates here. I love wedding flavored cupcakes. They're super rich vanilla flavor. Um, I really want to bake wedding cakes someday and this is the basic flavor that would be used in a wedding cake. In this recipe there is two cups of flour and it might get a little messy but if you're not getting messy then you're not baking right. <gasps> See? I'm doing good so far. Okay, that's gonna be good enough. As you can see, it's not an exact science. Yep, that looks good to me. Then, there is one cup of granulated sugar. Then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. Here in the baking world, this is called a heaping spoon. And to level it off, you just scrape it right off the edge here. It gives you a perfect teaspoon. Dump it right in there. So mix these dry ingredients together. Now we're adding the wet ingredients, which is this 2 thirds cup of whole milk. Then we're adding six tablespoons of this butter. This is eight, so I'm gonna just guess because that's all we need to do. My favorite part, we add the extract, a whole teaspoon. My hand is shaking because I'm nervous because last time I did this, I dumped the whole bottle in there. Oh, two teaspoons, great, even better. Four whole drops of unicorn blood. <laughs> One. <laughs> Everybody now. Two. <laughs> If you want a lighter batter, that's where you use egg whites and not the whole egg, but a lot of cake mixes use just the whole egg. I just really enjoy it. I just like all types of art, really. I see it as like kind of an art, and I like drawing, painting, baking, all that stuff, it's just really fun to me. But my grandma, I remember I used to like, I used to bake with her and cook with her on Thanksgiving. It's kind of a stress reliever from basketball too. You know, when the season is getting longer, this is actually really nice to be able to just come and bake some cupcakes and forget about it for a couple hours. Are you ready for some icing? This is my favorite part. Sometimes when I make this, my dad just eats it and not the cupcake. So I heard it's pretty good. This is gonna look really unhealthy, but hey, it tastes really good. Okay. Now, it actually doesn't matter how much of this you put in as long as it tastes good, so this is okay. More powdered sugar. That's a lot of powdered sugar. Okay, I'm gonna need to scrape down the sides to get all of the powdered sugar in there. All of the healthy butters. Doing that for, oh, the oven's ready. Mm. But if you just leave them out, they take about 20 minutes. To completely cool so you can decorate them. I've got an icing trick for you guys. Um, if you take a piping bag, um, don't cut it yet, I almost ruined everything. Um, you stick it in a jar or like a cup or anything that you have and just wrap the sides around it like this. Scoop it right in there. Then 
take it down to the bottom. Cut the tip off. You take a cupcake, and it's kind of like if you get ice cream in a soft serve, and you're trying to like make the ice cream cone not tip over. Um, you just push down and let it spread out and then kind of fluff it up like this. Like it looks like a big ice cream cone. That was a little lopsided, but you get the point. And there's a bunch of different um, like piping tips, like the one I just showed you. There's a bunch of different patterns and you can make them look like a, a lot of different things. There we go. Okay. Now we have our pretty pink cupcakes and I'm pretty sure that they're gonna taste delicious, but I should probably try it just in case. Mmm. All my other friends left. They had to go to practice, which is where I should be. I hope I don't get in trouble for baking instead. I got a jet. Thanks for tuning in.